All right, AP Computer Science. How could I forget it was the D6 program? Uh, the D6 program is uh, simulating a D6 or a six-sided dice. And if you're a nerd, you call it a D6. I mean, you could be all kinds of nerds. If you're a Dungeons and Dragons nerd, you call it a D6. Uh, or maybe like tabletop gaming nerd. Uh, but anyways, here we are. Uh, check out our variables. We just have one. We don't even have a scanner today. Somehow I still imported the scanner, but that's out of sheer laziness of not deleting it. You could delete that just fine and it'll, it'll compile, so uh, I think that's fine. Uh, we will have ourselves a roll variable and we're going to be assigning it some value and then, um, and then rolling. I think that I display 10 random die rolls, but you didn't have to do that. I was just having fun, I guess, with it, and I decided not to use a loop and cut and paste it a whole bunch of times. I can't remember if I... Maybe I just didn't read my own assignment if it's supposed to show 10 or not. Uh, we don't know how to do loops yet, but eventually we'll be able to automate this. I mean, maybe you do know how to do a loop because you did my old courses, in which case, um, yeah, have fun with making loops. Uh, but we'll cover that in a future uh, class. So anyways, here we are. Uh, we're going to be doing this here for calculating our role and it involves the math.random and math.random returns a number between 0 inclusive and 1 not inclusive so it's going to be 0 point something any 0 point something will be the result of math.random could be 0, 0.0 or 0 0.999999 at infinitum or it's I guess not because it's finite in a computer's memory but you know as far as it can go and anything in between that so uh, math.random produces some number between 0 and 0.9999. If we multiply it by 6, we then get a number between 0 and 5.9999999. And then if we add 1, we get a number between 1 and 6.9999999. Then we use the casting operator to chop off the decimals, so we end up with either a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. Because the biggest number it possibly could have given us was 6, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, 6.9999999, but we chop off the decimals, so then we'll get 6. If it was a number between 5.0 and 5.9999, it will become 5, and so on. All the way down to 1, the lowest possible number it could have made was 1.0, and anything between that and 1.9999 will become a 1. So that effectively kind of basically takes our randomly generated number and slots it into one of those integers. I'll just make note that these parentheses here are absolutely important. If I got rid of these parens, then the way the casting operator works is that it is like an operator in math and it has precedence over multiplication and division. So if you just have multiplication and addition and casting going on, then the casting will actually happen first. It has higher precedence. So it'll look and see what is it going to cast. It's going to cast math.random. And it'll do it before the multiplication happens. So that gets cast to an int. Hey, what does a number that is 0 point something get cast to when you cast it to an int? Well, it gets cast to 0. That's right. It'll just whatever wonderful, beautiful, random number generated uh, there it'll just be turned into zero. And what's zero times six? Well, it's zero. And then we're gonna add a one on it, and it will always be one. So if you don't put the parens in, you'll always get a one. So that's why these parens are absolutely important. You could put it here, you could put it here, it doesn't really matter, um, either one is fine. But just make sure that the casting operator happens after the multiplication, and you can use parentheses, just like in math, to force um, you know the the bed mass sort of thing to to happen inside of here so to give something else precedence because uh, always you know brackets come first right in bed mass so that's the story we get a whole bunch of die rolls and that's great so I'll just compile and I don't guess I will run it just for funsies how good did I roll let's find out Ooh, I'm excited to see a roll except it didn't show up so not sure what happened there there, there it is. Whoa, six, one, one, two, four, five, six, three, four, six. Nice. I mean, that's okay. <laughs> it's not amazing, but it's pretty average rolls. Um, recently, I was playing Dungeons and Dragons, and I uh, was having the worst luck. I actually did the math. I recorded the numbers, 
in 10 die rolls on a 20-sided die, so a, a die where you could roll between 1 and 20, after 10 rolls, my average was 4.8. It wasn't good. It was bad. I was having a lot of trouble. My character, struggling. Fafnir is his name. And he is a swarthy barbarian who is always up for uh, some daring do. <laughs> it's obviously getting very late. It's now midnight. So I should probably get to bed or something. So thanks so much for checking out these videos. I hope they were helpful for you getting these assignments uh, done and even more importantly understood. And we will um, keep on working on that and we'll see you on Friday. Thanks everybody.